Hey guys, welcome back to Clink. My name's Harry and today I'm going to teach you how to make a bramble. Now, a bramble was invented in 1984 by a man called Dick Bradsall. Dick Bradsall is probably most famous for inventing the espresso martini, which I've done a video on um, before, which I can send a link to you. Um, the links will be below. Um, he wanted to make, Dick wanted to make a cocktail that was British, a British cocktail. So he, um, having memories of, as a child, going blackberry pit picking, um, he mixed those flavours along with the London dry gin, added a bit more, and pretty much there, it's just very simple, he invented the bramble that way. Um, today, it, so, it, with the blackberry, it's normally with a blackberry liqueur, um, creme de mer, um, but unfortunately I don't have any of that, so I'm going to substitute it with um, Chambord, which is the black raspberry. So this is somewhat similar flavours, but it's a little bit of a twist. Um, I'm just going to go straight into it. I'm going to start by chilling my glass, like I most of the time do goes in the fridge and we'll start with the cocktail. So it's a shaking cocktail um, and I'm going to start actually, not by shaking first, by crushing some ice. So I'm going to chuck some ice in here, give it a good old crank. side for now. We'll use that in just a moment. And we'll get our shakers ready. So our first ingredient is 30 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Uh, sorry, lemon juice. Oh, almost perfect. And yeah, a little bit left. And then we're going to go 15 mils of sugar syrup. I do uh, a one-to-one -one ratio with sugar syrup, so one part water, one part sugar. And then we're going to, oh, not shampoo, sorry. We're going to add 45 mils of our beef feeder gin. So beef feeder is a London dry gin. Obviously making it more British. Not all London dry gins are from London or necessarily England, but um, there are certain rules you have to um, stick by to be a London dry gin. But this one is from London, so keeping it proper British. Um, cool, so we're just going to give that one a shake. Let's get some more oil in there. A bit more okay. So, give that a good shake. And a semi-chilled glass, wasn't in there long to be fair. And we're just gonna grab a little bit more, a little more ice. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. And then we're just gonna carefully strain that in. So what I'm going to do, put my crushed ice on top, so this is merely for garnish, it doesn't really do much for the drink itself or the flavour, but it just makes it look a little bit nicer, just going to clean up a bit, okay. and then we're going to pour 15 mils of our Chambord. Obviously, if you have creme de mer in the cupboard somewhere, it's one of those things that people, some people have in their liquor cabinets. I'm just going to drizzle that on like so. So you sort of let that sort of sink in a little bit, maybe give it a bit of a stir. And then to garnish, we're going to garnish with a nice lemon wheel. Maybe another one. Okay. 
And there we have it guys. The bramble. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Berries, obviously the raspberry. It's not blackberry, so it's not the same as the proper bramble, but it's a good substitute. Um, the gin, you got all the botanicals in there, the lime. Perfect balance with the lime and sugar. It's always good. I've got a rule of thumb, people might disagree, but like if you use 30 of citrus, like a lime juice or lemon juice, or if you use it or something like that, you use half of that for sugar to get a good balance. Depending on obviously the other flavours going in. The Chambord's got a bit of sugar in there as well, so it brings it up a bit, but normally half it. Mm. Yeah, very delicious. Quite a summery cocktail. Um, obviously I know the Northern Hemisphere, like, you know, places in England, going into winter now, so you probably wouldn't be having this, this but this, I've got my sun coming, so this is quite a good one to have. Mm. Yeah. As you can see, the Chambord's kind of sunk to the bottom, but it gives a good, like, sort of, layered effect, which is nice. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you want to give this a good go at home, um, please take some photos, take some videos, tag us in it. We've got a Facebook account, Instagram account, all links will be put down below. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Cheers.